guys, welcome to today's video. Before we get started, uh, go ahead and drop your name down in the comments and say hello. Let us know where you're from. We'd like to greet you. And uh, uh, make sure to do that because we'll be giving away one of the products that I'm going to be using today in today's video. So make sure to put your name uh, in the comments uh, so we can also say hello. Uh, my name is Sonia Chandler and I have a business uh, called Socks on a Rooster where I do furniture refinishing and decor refinishing uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee. So today's video is going to be over uh, kind of a simple item. I'm going to be giving a, a door in my home uh, an old world finish. Actually, it's a set of doors and a few years back I actually put them on a sliding system somewhat like the the barn door system that you see in so many homes today. Uh, I just had always wanted to refinish the doors to give them a little bit more interest. So I'm going to be uh, painting and adding some uh, gold leafing to just a builder's grade door, uh, just a white door and giving it a little bit of a finish with some uh, one step paints, some milk paints and some gold leafing uh, to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more my style. So I'll show you how to do that and walk you through this process. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult to film than usual because it's, I'm doing it up in the room where these set of doors are. So it won't be as many overhead shots as I like to give to you guys when I'm doing uh, my step-by-step -step process so that you can copy and repeat the process. But just bear with me, and if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments and I will get with you. But um, let me get started on this so I can show you how. Hi guys, okay, so here's the doors before. They're just a plain builder's grade white door. And then this hardware is just a sliding door hardware that I purchased. I didn't like the hardware, I didn't like the black. And it was very industrial looking with those bolts. And so I really wanted to cover those up uh, and make them look like they were a gold or brass. So I did use some modeling compound and I covered up those uh, bolts. Also, I used some wood trim and some modeling compound on the doors only because I actually, we broke the door when we took the hardware off and it cracked and so we had to cover. So here uh, I am and I'm gonna test this out. I was. Pretty sure it was going to work, but you never know how it's going to look until you actually get it on there. Um, so I am adding uh, the gilding size here. The gilding size, if you have not gold leafed before, is just the adhesive that allows your gold leaf or copper leaf or silver leaf uh, to stick to your item. So I'm just going in here and I'm putting it in all of the areas of my hardware that I know will be noticeable to the eye. So if you are going to do um, a sliding barn door hardware like I'm doing here, or you're just going to be doing doorknobs um, or brackets on a piece of furniture, uh, a door, you know, and you wanna try this, this is how uh, you're going to do it. You're going to add your gilding size first uh, and it's, it's just gonna help that gold leaf stick. Now, I call this, it's my personal term, I call it a freestyle gold leafing. It is not uh, at all um, perfect, it's not professional, and the reason why is I'm going to go over uh, this with uh, probably a glaze or something to make it look a little bit more aged or some wax, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Also, I'm kinda of wanting to make it look like it's brass, so, uh, if it has some of that black underneath, it can look like it's tarnished. Now what I'm doing there is a set of handles I found. I found those at a thrift store. Um, and they, they look like they really would have been for maybe a tray. Uh, but they did have the original tag on them from the hobby uh, craft store. So um, I don't know if you can still get them, but they did have the hobby craft store tag on them. I found them for just a few dollars a piece and thought they might be great for um, these doors to look like the door handles. I'm also doing the bolts here. I did gold leaf just about everything here and this project was mainly a gold leaf project. 
Um, I did all of the hardware, even the overhead hardware that these rollers go on. And I also did all of this trim. I decided to go ahead and do this gold uh, before, uh, instead of just painting the whole thing, which we, you could paint the whole thing, but I decided to add these little touches of gold. Uh, also added it to this piece of hardware above. Uh, it was very simple. I just got up there and painted it on. And then once your um, adhesive is dry, it will be sticky. It will not be wet, but it'll be sticky. And then you're gonna lay your pieces of gold leaf right on top of all of the area that you have covered with the size. And it's a very easy process. Um, all you have to do is lay it on. And like I said, this is kind of freestyling it. It does not have to be perfect um, in the way that you would have to do if you were doing a panel or you would want it to be, you know, very, um, no imperfections, no holidays, you didn't want any spaces. This is okay, or at least I am okay with achieving this um, uh, kind of piece together look because I want it to look old and muddled and maybe even that some of the gold leaf has come off. Or in this case, I'm trying to make it look like it's possibly brass that, and there are some areas that can be tarnished. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect and you do not have to be afraid to gold leaf or silver or copper. Um, it's a very, really foolproof way. I think the only thing you, that could be a problem is if you did not uh, let the adhesive dry. Just let that dry. And I'm very happy with what I ha uh, was seeing here on this part of the video. I was, um, as you can see, I'll slow it down here for you in a minute and you can see what this hardware actually looks like. See there, it it does look like um, it could have possibly been made that way, a solid brass piece. So I just continued on, I did do the bolts. I was covering as much of this as I could because it was very heavy on the very rustic industrial side. And if you like that and you wanna keep that look, uh, that's fine. You don't have to add the model modeling uh, compound or detail. You can just do the your silver. You could do copper. You could do gold. You could just do your metal right onto your hardware if you want to try that. Uh, but this is a very simple process. Uh, it's not, a lot of people will say that it's messy, but it is a clean mess. So all of the flakes that do not attach themselves to your adhesive um, will just flake off with your dry brush. And you just wanna brush all of that off. And um, the, the excess gold leaf does not, it doesn't really stick to anything. You can vacuum it up and sweep it up and it doesn't make any mess. It's a very clean mess. It's kind of like leaves in the fall. It does not uh, cause any um, major mess or permanent mess like paint would if you were to drop it all over. So. And there I am, there's my thrift store handle finds. I really liked those, I got those for 250 a piece, but I'm trying these out as well to see if they will also look um, like brass or I can you know, age them to look like brass with some paint or some, um, some glaze uh, once this gold leaf is on. So if you have hardware to do, whether it's for your piece of furniture or your door, um, you know, you can try it out. And if you do not like that particular uh, color of metal, whether gold or silver or copper, you can try another color. And if that's not working, what I know is that paint always fixes everything. Uh, these pieces of hardware would be beautiful painted as well if I didn't want to keep them uh, in the metal uh, family there. I And I didn't want them to stay black or wrought, wrought iron. So, um, I'm just going through here and finishing up all of my gilding. As you can see, it's a very easy and fast process. And although I did do a lot of gold leafing in this project, uh, when you figure up the square footage of how much gold leafing you're going to do, it's never really very much, um, especially when you're doing trim. Uh, it's, it's much less than if you're doing an entire panel for a piece of artwork or um, you know, you're wanting to do an entire gold leafed top of a table, 
this is very minimal when you're doing the trim. So you can kind of add up and figure up. You can also use one leaf to do several stretches of your trim here, which is what I did here. And again, this is very freestyle uh, as well. I didn't make, I didn't have to be perfect. The only thing you'll want to do is what I'm doing here is I'm taking a dry brush and I'm going in and knocking off all of the flecks of gold. Um, it's hard to get them all off, but you want to make sure you get all those off so that they don't catch in your paint. Although those can lend themselves to looking uh, old and authentic too, like there's layers of paint on the door. So doing these old world, finish, old world finishes are, um, they're great for, and there I am doing the whole hardware piece up above the door, and this went very easily. This was not difficult. I just painted on this, the sizing adhesive up above and laid that gold leaf on there, and it covered uh, beautifully. So now that all of my gold leafing is done, I'm laying down my base paint, which is Windsor uh, one step, one step paint in Windsor, and it's just, it's a beautiful brown color. I did lighten it slightly with some linen. Uh, I just thought that I was going to be, uh, I actually originally thought I was going to be doing milk paint, and I was going to rub some of that milk paint off and let that Windsor show through. But ultimately, I decided to use French blue, and here is the French blue going over the Windsor. And I still may rub some of that off to show that Windsor uh, underneath, but ultimately I decided that I loved the crisp, clean freshness of the French blue, and I did not reveal any of that Windsor underneath. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't go and do that later on, or as the door wears and it wears away, you could see it. But let me show you how I'm using my uh, French blue one step over my gilding. You guys, if you've watched any of my videos before, when I paint over gold leaf, you've seen me do this before. Now, this feels very unnatural. It, it seems like, well, I just put all of this gold leafing on and now I'm going to paint over it. Yes. And this is, uh, it it's, works very similar to a glaze. If you were putting glaze on a piece of furniture after you've added paint. I'm considering my gold leafing kind of like a gold paint. And uh, the wonderful thing is that when, when you do paint it on, the gold leaf will, res you know, it will resist the paint so you can wipe it off uh, very easily. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Now, I do suggest you work in sections because the one step will dry a lot more quickly than a glaze would. But I do a small area here and I make sure I use a brush that gets into all of those crevices. You do not want to leave you want the paint down into the depths of that ornateness. And then you're gonna take your negative tool, which is a wet rag. I'm, I'm just using wet paper towels here. And I'm wiping away that one step. Now I did water down my one step slightly, so it's not full concentration, it's not full thickness, and it helps to get into those crevices a little bit more. But as you're wiping away, you'll start to see uh, that there's a film or a mask uh, that kind of spreads over it. That's the, you know, the French blue that's in those pooled in ornate areas and you're just pulling it out. So you can take your brush and pounce it out of those uh, d deep crevices or you can just mop it out, um, go in and mop that out of those uh, crevices because the more you wipe, the more it's going to mask. It kind of puts a mask over that, um, that gold leaf. So I just go in and kind of sop up the paint in there if I didn't, if I got it too thick. And then I'm just wiping away. And what you're going to get is, is kind of like what glaze does down in the crevices of a piece of furniture or ornate detail. You're going to get the, you're going to get the depth of that color down in those crevices, but you're, the high points are going to show the gold. And you can wipe as much away as you like. You could leave it more subdued if you want it to be more of a, if you want to filter that gold leaf a little bit more, you can do that. Uh, you can also uh, add wax on top of that when you're done. You can use white ceruzing, the white ceruzing wax. You can use uh, light and dark wax to darken that gold leaf. Um, there's many options to get your gold leaf to look exactly like you want it to. 
But really, when you're painting over your gold leaf here and you're wiping away, it's really your, your choice. How much do you want on there? How much do you want to see? And it's going to look lend itself to a world. And eventually, the finished product is going to be this beautiful French blue door uh, with gold highlights. And the hardware uh, did do very well with the gold leaf. It did, I did achieve that look um, that I was looking for. So very simple, some gold leafing and some paint. And I transformed these doors completely. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.